love long math is all we need. That is what we are trying to tell you. Now, Madam Chair, let me simply simplify the case of the government side, I mean opposition side to you. They tell you that that our case is no longer debatable, yet they're still here debating about it, still biting our case. Now that is the irony there, Madam Chair. They tell you that, that it's not debatable, yet they are still here. That is why, Madam Chair, this case is debate, debatable and our premise is still alive. Now, Madam Chair, let me simply tell you why love, love, love will always stand strong. Now, for, before I proceed to that, let me tell you the best case on government side, government side because of a simple POI. Now, let's hear the POI of Mr. Delco. His, uh, his POI, Mr. Chair, is telling us about biology, as he said, Mr. Chair, that the brain might grow smaller and smaller if you simply have Alzheimer's. Now, Madam Chair, let me under tell you this. This is simply proof, Madam Chair, that hey, these people need this perfect memory. The fact that their brain is growing smaller and smaller means these pictures, which their solution is, will no, no, will no longer let them remember. These videos or these photographic pictures, Madam Chair, will no longer be credible because they, as they said, biology, their brain is sick. Is thinking. Now we tell you, Madam Chair, that these people with Alzheimer's, they really need this perfect memory, Madam Chair. Because let's consider it. Biology. He said biology. Their brain is shrinking. This is why our case, Madam Chair, will still stand. We tell you that these people having Alzheimer's, having sickness with simple memory, Madam Chair, they really need this perfect memory. And we tell you, Madam Chair, since they want to bite again, Mr. Chair, about having these traumas, we told you once again that the that our trade-off is we allow to these people to have these traumas and so what have you. But however, Madam Chair, traumas are not that scary. They can still be moved on. Traumas, Madam Chair, are a simple part of the journey. You cannot be human, Madam Chair, if you do not simply experience this. This is why our class has been very important in this debate. Because we've been telling you, Madam Chair, just because you have traumas doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Oh my gosh, I have trauma. I'm going to suicide. No, Madam Chair. That is too idealistic, Madam Chair. Let me tell you what is going to happen. Just because you have trauma, Madam Chair, we tell you that having this perfect memory means, Madam Chair, you can remember those loved ones who simply can pull you back. You can remember those people who simply love you to, to actually um, get to that point. We tell you, Madam Chair, that with this love, Madam Chair, traumas can simply be overcome. Now, it seems that government... It seems, Madam Chair, that opposition is too bitter for this debate at the end of the day. Now, Madam Chair, let me, for, now, let me, now, let me now proceed to my issue. One simple issue. Which will, where will trauma really fall? Now, we tell you, Madam, now, coming from opposition, they tell us that trauma will be more, is really that deadly, man, Mr. Chair. But we tell you that these traumas can simply be moved on. This is why Carlo is very important in this debate. Because he has told you, Madam Chair, about these feelings, these memories. He, tell, he, he told you, Madam Chair, about this relevance of these people, why they are important. Whereas in opposition side, Madam Chair, they keep on fighting the case about traumas, about feelings, telling us, Telling us, Madam Chair, that hey, traumas is the end of the world, and I'm from, and then I had a friend from CMU who went but suicide at the end of the day. But Madam Chair, we tell you that suicide, of course, that can happen. However, if if you still have your memory and love, and where if you still have infallible memory, which you can never miss a single spot, Madam Chair, that can still be reverted by simple love. This is where work is very important. Because he has told you that he has told you, Madam Chair, the effect he has told you the effects of these of having a perfect memory to these people. Now let me give you an example. Mark has told you, sit down. Mark has told you, Madam Chair, that with these, with, with, if these Alzheimer's people have a good memory, they will have good decision making. Now where does that, why does that simply, why does that simply prove a point in this debate? Because Madam Chair, what we have to understand is people with Alzheimer's, Madam Chair, they simply forget everything, the journey, the, the journey itself, Madam Chair. And with a perfect memory, the fact that they can simply be human again, this is why Carlo again is important because he has told you that importance of being human, Madam Chair, of emptiness at the end of the day. This is why, Madam Chair, government shines. Because we told you, Madam Chair, sit down, we told you about this, we told you about this, the importance of these memories. Now, Madam Chair, let, let's go to, let's go with the trade-off and the report. Yes. Okay, so in your premise that you're presenting as Mr. Speaker, are you assuming that everyone in the world is uh, is having love? Is there, are you assuming that everyone is loved by everyone existing here? here. Yes, let's simply say love is love is for everyone, Madam Chair. It's not like love is is simply restricted. No, Madam Chair, love is possible. It seems that you are still too bitter. Now, Madam Chair, now let's, let's continue. Now look, continuing, Madam Chair. Well, now let me compare both houses. What the opposition wants, Madam Chair, is that they 
want to simply erase this memory, what they want at the end of the day, Madam Chair, as Madam DPM has told, DLO has told you, they want to erase these memories because they think it's bad, it's the end of the world if you have these memories. But we tell you, Madam Chair, having a perfect memory with these Alzheimer's people, this is actually very helpful for them. And this is why our house will win this debate. Because at that point, Madam Chair, we have told you the benefits of this, the importance. We gave you more information, Madam Chair, about these people having Alzheimer's. We catered two things in this debate. Number one, Madam Chair, people with Alzheimer's, we told you the benefits. And number two, Madam Chair, we, we tell you that love can actually help these people. Now, Madam Chair, before I proceed any points. Now, now, Madam Chair, let me, let me restate, Madam Chair, to the trade-off of this debate. From government side, we tell you that trade-off is we simply accept these traumas, but for the better of these people, we're simply remembering. Because as Mark has told you, Madam Chair, this, the lives of these people are being human is about the journey, not about how all these traumas and all these bad memories are simply normal, Madam Chair, of being human. Now, I mean, now let's look at the side of the opposition side. The, of the best case they have told you, Madam Chair, is about traumas which we have already been, which we have already closed off. Now, what does their DPM point out? Apparently, they want to simply erase these memories. Now, what, they, what can we simply sum up from that? It seems that opposition is trying to tell us that even with or without perfect memory, they're trying to tell us that you will still have these traumas. Now, what does that mean, Madam Chair? If it's just the same in their house, whether you are perfect or not perfect, you will still have, you will still, you will still feel these traumas. But we tell you, Madam Chair, with simple law, at least we are giving a solution rather than opposition, simply biting our case as a burger. And with that, I'd like to...